Hey guys, thanks for tuning in, and thank you non-hey guys as well. My name is Palamore, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about the best class in the new Shadowlands expansion. So after recently changing my mind a few times and really struggling to feel great about locking in any class as my main for Shadowlands, I was quite frustrated. And I think the main reason why I was having a hard time was because I didn't know exactly what classes would be most viable or what classes would be really weak and underwhelming. I used to always play Rogue back in the day because I really liked the playstyle. You know, I had many utilities, I had quick little burst windows and really even just being a ninja with stealth in general. As I got more and more into the competitive aspects of the game, I kind of strayed away from what was fun and focused more on what was highlighted as the super strong classes at the time. I had a moment the other day where I decided it was time to unbench the rogue and I have had so much fun it has made me even more beyond excited for Shadowlands than I ever imagined. And all of this has made me realize when it comes to picking your main for Shadowlands, the absolute most important factor is picking what you think is the most fun to play. And I truly believe this pattern of decision making, not only just for your character in a video game, but for other decisions in your life, really enables you to make the absolute most of what you have. If you are excited and passionate about the class you're playing and have heaps of fun, it will literally enhance the class and your experience playing on it. For example, Let's picture there's a chicken who really loves rectangles, but he isn't really a huge fan of squares. He could stack a tall tower with both types of the shapes, but you know, when it's late at night and he's bored in his barn, he'll be thinking about the rectangles and, and how he could stack them taller if he tried a thing or two differently. And the next thing you know, day after day, this chicken will eventually have a much taller stack of rectangles than squares because he is so much more interested in them and it's exciting for the chicken to stack the rectangles in new and innovative ways. An even more simple way to put it could be comparing pizza and broccoli. Assuming that the pizza is tastier but the broccoli has better nutrients, at the end of the day you'll be able to eat more pizza because that's what you want. It doesn't matter if your class sucks if you genuinely enjoy it more than anything else. You know this ideology is the same for why heroes and champions in games like Dota 2 and League of Legends can be one tricked. It's because of this concept of loving just one of them so much that you can play it endlessly and push it outside of its boundaries to new levels of play. I figured I could lay out a tier list and tell you why I think every class is fun or not or say what looks like the most overpowered broken class in the game at the moment, but that's really far from the point of this video. The real message here is that the best class will actually vary for every single individual. There is a reason why Sidu isn't a rank 1 sub rogue, and there's also a reason why Mitch Jones isn't a rank 1 wrestle druid. It's not because these classes are terrible, it's because these aren't the classes for them. You know, I was really afraid of upsetting people with this video in case they came here for a quick answer to find out the most broken overpowered class, but I hope you can leave this video with a better idea and have an actual insightful addition to locking in your main. Thank you very much for watching guys, let me know if this helped you, or let me know what class you're going to run in Shadowlands and why. I'll see you in the next video guys, peace.